Hello there, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Thousand Week Reich mod for Hoi4, and with patch 0.1.4. So, let's begin a new campaign in which we are playing, as you can probably tell from the title, and maybe even from the thumbnail, in which we're playing as Germany, and like normal custom game rules, no one's going to be strengthened, and everything's going to be kind of random. I don't want to know what happens. Except I want us to do very, very well. That's all I care about. But like I said earlier, with this campaign, I want to go down the Speer route. Now, I played as Germany before, the Greater German Reich, and Thousand Week Reich before us. But uh, at the time of that recording, the Sh Albert Speer route was bugged. So eventually we went with Hermann Goldring. But this time, let's not. Let's not go down with the fat man. And instead, let's enjoy, or possible, get... Uh, Albert. So, Swabian Knights, when Bismarck united the German peoples under one empire, most dreamt of a grand state that could surpass Napoleon, however, only one man dared to put his dreams into action, the Führer. After a swift victory on the Western Front, all eyes turned to the Red Menace in the east, where the Germany's, uh, where the Germany's fury fell upon the Bolsheviks in full force. Kiev, Minsk, uh, Sevastopol, crumbled under the German might. Meanwhile, the Soviets found themselves isolated, standing alone as the world turned their back on them. Soon, Leningrad fell after a combined assault from the Luftwaffe, Kriegsmarine, and Wehrmacht. As an all-out assault threatened Moscow, Stalin was forced to re relocate his troops away from Stalingrad, opening the door for German intrusion into the Caucasus oil fields. Stalingrad, too, fell after an encirclement, bled the city dry. And finally, after millions of deaths on both sides of a German flu above the Red Square, however, this victory was never official, as the Reds have relocated to Pam, with Stalin going missing during chaos in Moscow. Uh, if you wonder about the Crisis 48, it happens every time. Von Thorskall should be remembered like Yudes and Bolsheviks. So, there was a potential coup, but whatever. Let us begin with the status of the Reich. As we enter a new year, we face the same problems. Not so suitable factionalism within the party, an economy in freefall, and a sluggish armed forces. All in all, 1952 has proved in, proven to be the worst year for the Reich in recent memory. Moving forward, it's clear that we must tackle these issues head-on as they are slowly killing our nation and threatening to undo all the progress we have fought so hard to achieve. We shall do whatever it takes, according to the upper crust of the party, regrettably bending the knee to the demands of those cursed industrial cartels and executing careful political maneuvering within the Reichstag. We've shied away from being willing to get our hands dirty for a long time, and now we're faced with no other option. Let's, we do not want that time to go on. We have five research slots. We are not, this is not civilized, this is not old world blues. Uh, we're not, I guess you could say we are advanced with five research slots, but let's get a post-war production line. Countrywide improvements. Still on construction one as well as some military construction UNO, and, like normal, we should also start get, and get some more research speed with vacuum tube computing. Now, with that in mind, I don't think we can make too many divisions. I don't even remember what we have here. 18. Uh, that's not bad. They can do a signal company, which is not bad. I'm going to go with make five. Let's make five for now. Uh, you guys, not looking great. Let's make one. Let's make, make six in total for infantry, and panzer divisions, panzer grenadier divisions. You have IFVs, APCs, not ideal, Panzer Divisions. That's what we're having it for. There we go. Three divisions. Cool. And before we do that, uh, tutorial. Uh, welcome to the mod. Do we need the tutorial? There's a GDP uh, mechanic on the right side of where my mouse is. And the UN mechanic is, of course, up here. So we can see what goes on in the UN, but we don't really care. We're ready to play. And we have the also the little inner circle. So we want Speer, but Himmler. Uh, not, not Himmler. Goebbels. Goebbels is insignificant influence in different... He is... His influence is non-existent, he's trusted, Goring is significant but suspicious, Himmler is rising, and then Ballman is rising as well, different and different. Cool. Before we continue on, we gotta make sure we produce at least a few good factories here. Uh, put in Hauptstadt, Germania, and put it here, put it there. It doesn't really matter where we put it right now, because we might lose everything in the end, and we have nothing over here like normal. I don't want to just let time go on as I'm trying to do all this stuff, because I want to make sure we produce enough good stuff. Get some of that just in case, mechanize, goodbye, APCs, hello. Post-war artillery, into artillery, no thank you. Oh, brute anti-air, that's pretty cool. And just in case, let's get some uh, fighters, and then some carrier fighters, and then some casts, and then some carrier casts, and then interceptors, nope, nope, nope. Ooh, strap bombers, cool. And we'll put some tanks, do this quickly. Yeah, none of you guys. IFVs, nope. Even though we technically use them, well, I'm not going to use them. Uh, nope, nope. I don't really care. I'm going to change and edit some of these templates. Wow, that's that might be a few too many divisions for or factories for tanks. Do that as well. Put it on three. Put you on five because we need that many. Put you on two for now. Put you on five. Put you up there and do that. And then we're going to get some more fighters. Oh, we got plenty of fighters actually. One is good enough for those groups. And there you go. Cool. Ship wise, we got garbage probably. One, two. That's not bad. Over here, not great. I don't even want to see this stuff. Level one, nope, nope. Uh, level two is good enough. 
Pop, 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 pop. Maybe we'll use some destroyers. I don't know. I think last time I said the same thing. I'm not really sure if I'll use them. Subs. Uh, you have a higher number. Keep it there. Everyone else, I don't even want to be interested in you. Let's see. Not bad. Not great. But you know what? We'll use you. We'll use you. And then we don't have enough army XP for naval XP for that. Cruiser holes. Well, you're a heavy cruiser, so I don't, we don't need we don't need you for now. Do this and then do that. And finally, let's let time go on. My apologies. It took us about five minutes to do that. It is what it is. And hopefully, like unlike my first campaign where I played as Germany in the Thousand Week Reich, hopefully I don't need to restart the campaign several different times. Polish terrorists attack a group of unknown Polish terrorists have successfully damaged a military complex in the former Polish eastern territories of the German Reich. Under the cover of night, the terrorist scum used bombs to accomplish a task with military-like precision. It is suspected that a terrorist organization known as the Home Army is behind the latest attack. Ah, scheisse. So, with a great future, the coup brought greater harm to the Reich than one might see on the surface. It cost the Reich much in the way of prestige and Germany's reputation on the market. Alongside the already existing issues, the coup offered the world an unsavory perspective into the true nature of German politics. Even in 52, there are no signs of a recovery in Germany's near future. If no major actions are taken, the Reich is doomed to fall. Or fail. It appears the powers of the world are keeping close eye on this when waiting to tear us apart once a slight crack appears in our mighty nation. Ein tausend Jahre. Ein tausend Jahre. A thousand years. And we'll do a failing economy. It is no secret that the economic situation of the Reich is sluggish, to put it politely. To express it bluntly, the Reich's markets exist solely between Germany proper and the Eastern Territories, which, although bountiful in key natural resources that we might otherwise struggle with during the war, has left us isolated in other areas of imports that exist outside of these trade zones. Attempting even the smallest of trade offers with Rome has been met with stiff to let rebuttal, with a similar scene transpiring when Trump von Rippentrop attempts such with Italy's client states. Along with the isolated trade community, production is lagged behind in various areas, contributing to an overall slowdown in economic activity during the sub across the country, which has consequently led to falling prices and slowly raising unemployment, the first occurrence since the Weimar era. We mustn't sit on such a grave issue any longer. Many reforms must come to remedy this, and the return of our economy to normal normality is the steepest goal we must climb to reach. And before I forget, we can make a few of these just in case. I'm going to build these up too, just in case we can't make any factories to sell. There we go. And what are these guys? These guys are very odd. Very, very odd. Pull out all the infantry. So, Southern Polish or Poland operation. Reserve Police Battalion 101 is organizing a massive operation to cleanse the still sovereign population of Southern Poland. The so called hunt seeks to exterminate the remaining hidden Jews within the population while the identifying Jewish sympathizers in the region. The main goal remains to bring order and extermination to those who continue to defy the Reich, get on working balls, and Germany's economy. Germany's economy has suffered greatly recently, and we have no choice but to pay close attention to the problems to begin their necessary reforms. This will be a difficult task, but our leaders will get us through it. Reform is the only answer that can pull Germany from the brink of total economic failure and economy first. So, when I played this mod first, well, I went down and did all of this stuff, and doing, including the ruling position. I don't want to do that, but we'll see what happens with eternal politics. Now we must focus on the politics of the interior, mending the current situation we find ourselves in, dishing out the necessary reforms, ensuring, above all things, business as usual, as well as other things, time is of the essence. We must toil diligently to maintain stability, lest we become distracted by even a smidgen. Then the wretched closet degeneracy and Judeo Bolshevism will poke and prod their way into our hallowed institutions. Many meetings will be arranged for the first time in a while. The Reichstag shall be put to proper use, rather than the audience for the long, rambling, and damn near useless soup and deezing speeches. Very good. Oh, and I forgot about all this stuff, too. Oh, my goodness. Well, whatever. We have a lot of stuff to read just because this mod is very, early on especially, is very lore-heavy. So, And we kind of have to know what happens and stuff like that. So, Ah, oh, Funk Razan. Suffering illnesses, not, a and a not able to complete his role as economic minister, Funk has requested to retire from political affairs and live out the rest of his days in private. While the Fiat expresses disapproval on such actions, he will still accept the request after considering Funk's service to the Reich. Heiler has been made the new minister, replacing Funk as a minister of economics. In the meantime, Funk has returned to his hometown of Danskamen to live peaceably for the remainder of his life. Gone with an older generation. I get a little bit more political power, actually. That's kind of nice. Uh, for you guys, we're going to choose Donuts because why not? 31 fac submarinos, not factories, but submarinos. Uh, give me half you guys. Boom. Boom. Right there. Yeah, go right there. That'd be good. Put it all under one branch here. Uh, cool. So, like when I played as Germany before, we have a few issues that we gotta deal with. Go to Lutians. Go ahead and grab Fleet Protector. That'd be good. So, the pol political situation of the German ter German Reich turns more volatile by the day. Death slowly keeps around the great leader and haunts him as a specter. Meanwhile, factions within inform. Factions form within the NSDAP. Rivalries between high-ranking officials threaten to boil over from scheming into violence. 
Thankfully, with Hitler still alive, the party remains and united on the surface and still makes joint political decisions, but there's no, there's so much that one little man can do alone. Even the Fuhrer himself feels the loss at times. Let's just accomplish our goals while we still can. Uh, my apologies for speaking. I cannot speak very bueno-like right now, apparently, but I'm going to have all these guys train and ruin the fuel supplies of Germany. But like I was trying to say earlier, we want to get through this. We got through this the first time I played as Germany. My goal was Speer. This, the people's plan is, Germ is Goebbels' plan. The new foyer plan is Goring's plan. My goal is to maybe go down the ideal plan as far and as possible. Uh, so we maybe want to do reforms? You know what? Uh, I'm not sure if this is an event. I'm going to save 10 days worth of focus time. Focus tree time. Because it, it doesn't matter, you get more political power. Uh, so, and if you wait 10 days, you can still get 10 days ahead for the next focus. So, Artpo defeated when the Artpo launched their operation in south of Poland. They were met with consistent ambushes and attacks from the Polish Home Army, cells within the region. Eventually, the Arpo was driven out of some urban areas by the Polish resistance fighters, and during their retreat, the battalion endured constant harassment from local fighters. With this much pressure and mounting losses, the operation was declared a major failure. What remains of the Polish resistance has clearly been severely underestimated. If that's the case, uh, prepare the firing squad. I don't want to lose that political power, so... Third wave of fake news. We get more stability. Don't mind if I do first. Fake media campaign on the largest edition of Das Reich. An entire article worth of content in the newspaper was given to a special piece. Written by an unknown author, a sizable article supported by pictures was published for the German public, in which the author showed the lives of deported undesirables in one of the Reich's commissariats. The article continues, or made sure to remind the readers of the deportees' inferiority, but also ensured that these people are living an adequate life under German custody. While most readers often skip these boring sections, a few that cared or took this to as, as a sign of relief, knowing that the German master race was doing their best to maintain purity in a humane way. But these pictures and names are delusion, created, crafted by Goebbels' men, with the truth being a pile of ashes in the depths of a mass grave, excess as always in Speer's meeting. During a typical afternoon, Speer paid a visit to the Berghof while a private meeting with Mr. Adolf Schmidtler, without the presence of Martin Bormann. While the chatter between Speer and Hitler in the garden mostly revolved around architecture, Speer raised his concerns on the German economy, and made an informal report on his post as Minister of Armament. Speer subconsciously commented that the German economy is a total wreck, and seemingly did not realize what he had just said. Indeed, Speer, the economy is in shambles. So how many days we got? You can look at this, and if this bar fills up all the way, we save two of, two of 15. Okay. Ah, here we go. Economic reform plans. The field has summoned all of the inner circle to, to the party to come up with the plans to reform the economy. Goebbels, Hermann Goring, and Speer have suggested their respective plans for the economy with Goebbels' people's plan, Goring's new four-year plan, and Speer's ideal plan. Each proposal are detailed and unique in execution, but the only factor that remains or matters is if any of these plans cut the field's interests. Very good. Good. And I'm just waiting for the ideal plan. So I guess it, for this one, you can save up to 15 days. Usually it's 10, but maybe it's 15 for this one. But plan submitted after I take a nice sip of pineapple Waikiki black tea. Pretty good. The three proposals made by the respective leaders are now being reviewed by the Fuhrer himself, with the final decision being only his. Speer's plan details uh, in which various state projects and reforms would pull Germany closer to the Aryan dream. Goebbels' people's plan aims to revamp the goal. German economy in a more traditional military way. Lastly, Goring's new four-year plan seeks to reform the entire system to bolster wealth and productivity. What we want is the ideal plan. Not Goebbels, not Goring. Burn the papers? Ooh. That actually seems kind of interesting. What would you do with that? But the idealistic plan. And we do it immediately. Project Uno. <clears throat> In the first phase of the idea plan, Project 1 relates to the aforementioned encouragement of outer metropolitan growth in your cities, the implementation of industrial and perhaps agricultural quotas for the eastern Rex commissariats, and the vast expansion of the Rex colonial market, a long and untapped aspect of our economy. Very cool. Very, very cool. Real evidence, overseas testimony. Hmm. Wow. You, get, you can improve relations by 5%. Wow, that's for 50 days. So worth it for 50 political power. Ah, uh, French labor strike. Over growing labor strikes occurring in the Western territories has led to a temporary industrial slowdown in our Western regions. While the local SS divisions were quick to put down these attempts at striking, this shows yet another stubborn inferior race is refusing to accept Aryan rule. Very good. Confederational Kingdom, Indonesian, Death, oh, National Revolt, Greet, another colonial war. Ah, uh, let's see, tanks. Well, let's see, y'all just, y'all weird. Y'all, they have IFVs. I don't like the IFVs. Cavalry, uh, I think last time I just made them all infantry, so I'm gonna do the same thing here again. There you go. And then you have SS divisions, which I'll throw over here. 
atomic testings, although we do not have the full capability to produce atomic bombs. Our science teams have successfully created a prototype. Members of the government urged the Führer to allow a show of force done by a nuclear test in Moscow, but our scientists exclaimed that testing an, an atomic bomb at this stage might create unrealistic expectations and spark international attention on a project that still needs polishing. Should we allow the testing? Test the prototype. Death of... No, not Papa Delvanga. Reports from General Government Orpo. During a raid on a local village, Delvanga Brigade was ambushed by resistance fighters, a move that caught Delvanga and his brigade by total surprise. The brigade was bombarded by Polish artillery with their overall incompetence in, combat. in combat. Delvanga and his brigade were utterly destroyed with all members present at the raid killed. Delvanga's corpse was found within a village hut holding a bag of loot, seemingly refused to let go of his pillaged goods. What an embarrassment. Oh, God. Well, yep, we tested bomb. Oh, Papa Delvang Delvanga, you are a... Piece of work. We'll put it like that. Oh goodness! I'm gonna put all the SS divisions together under one banner. So, yeah, we left it with uh, tanks. Cool. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna put you with the infantry. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, put you back over here. Cool. You get your own one, and then you guys. I'll probably convert you. To, let's. You know what? I'm just gonna straight up convert you to infantry for now. Oh, Spain is having problems. Cool. Assassination of Helmut Bischoff. Reportedly attending a meeting with Philo, Schutzstaffel members in Frankfurt. Helmut Bischoff was killed by a car bomb rigged into his Volkswagen 21 or Eins und 20 were killed during a Bischoff. Himmler addressed the Schutzstaffel about recent events, calling these incidents as merely acts of terrorism by the subhumans. Oh. Von Wittinghoff dies. The day the heroic general Wittinghoff has died, he was a key figure during the invasion of Poland and was a major commander during the invasion of Yugoslavia. After the victory in the crusade against Bolshevism, he retired from the military life, unfortunately. He recently died from his increasing illness in his home in Fronten, Bavaria. A state funeral was held in Bavaria and many high-ranking German officers will appear to the event. Rest in peace, Commander. Quisling's call. Our allies in Norway have contacted Germania. Due to recent events, they are requesting greater autonomy, as promised by the Führer himself in the 40s. While it might be time to finally follow through with our promises, Goebbels suggested that Germany should play along, by pretending to allow Norwegian reforms to occur, and then retake control of when the time is right. Goebbels is right. Hitler is a man of his word. He is a man of his word, the Norwegian thaw. The Vienna Project. Vienna, Wien, Austria's old capital, the art capital of the world, and a place where Hitler spent much of his earlier life. This project was meant to shape Vienna into an ideal German city in the southern parts of Germany, making Vienna the art capital and a productive city of the Reich. The project was swiftly completed by the hard-working German labor, shaping Vienna into a city that can compete with Germania. Wien, what a beautiful city. We get three military factories, three infrastructure, and three civilian factories as well. And we shall do what? Ooh, actually, four, two, seven, Because mm, we have this, more construction speed and growth for 100 days. Let's grab this first for more stability. We'll, we'll encourage our outer metropo metropolitan growth. Whilst the main portions of the various large cities that dot Germany contribute as economic hubs themselves, a much different story can be said for the areas that lie just outside of them. It's a common sight to see expansive wheat fields, cow pastures, and dairy farms just a stone's throw away from even Germania. Whilst these areas contribute in their own way to economic growth, it is not nearly as large and as varied to that of the cities themselves. An easy solution to which has already been drafted, the, these farms will be bought up by the state-run industries. The farmers granted subsidies as compensation. The operations moved elsewhere. From then, the areas would be wholly converted to center on industrial org operations. Doing this would provide a double-edged sword of benefits. Raising the level of productivity and varied activity to match that of the major cities, while also attracting workers towards these plants, which would in turn grow the land around them into larger townships. Stability and two, two off-map military factories. Karviko wins. Oh, a terrorist attack. A group of unknown per Polish terrorists have successfully damaged a military complex in the former Polish eastern territories of the Reich. Under the cover of... Uh, the use deal with military-like precision is suspected that the terrorist attack known and the group known as the Home Army is behind the latest attack. She has set those goddamn poles. And op opening of Theodore Moro Hospital. One of the biggest hospitals in the whole of Germany, the Theodore Moro Hospital has been opened in Germania. Named after the Führer's former personal doctor with over 10 floors and an array of the latest medical technology that the Reich can offer, the Theodore Moro Hospital will become the backbone of health for the city of Germania. This uh, the opening ceremony was attended by multiple high-ranking officials, including Speer and Goring, a symbol of German welfare. Truly a great thing. And we're running out of fuel. Oh boy. Uh, more tanks. Yes, more tanks. And maybe one thing of tungsten. Yes, please. Thank you. So just in case... A session of Mangle. Oh no, not Mangle. He's a doctor, isn't he? Mangle's been found dead within his office. Shot dead, shot dead by a single bullet into the heart. Police and security services both claim that such murders by a resistance fighter would be impossible due to the building being heavily guarded and no reports of suspicious entries were reported by the skilled guards. Hedrush has fallen Germania from Gotland, suggesting that the timing of these incidents were targeting the Schutzstaffel and planned up by some sort of higher being within the party. What is going on? I have a good feeling it might be controlled by a certain individual member of the party. 
maybe, maybe not. You know, a certain individual that may or may not influence the, the outcome or the possibility of a potential German civil war if the Fuhrer may die. Hmm. I'm going to be honest, talking like this is very weird. Very, very weird. Von Klug, hopefully you don't rebel against us. Please don't rebel. That would not be very cool. Aggressive Assault is very nice. Let's put you guys down in half. Oh, we no longer get fake news. But I love fake news. It makes me feel better. Hero's Memorial Day. Oh, Spider. Oh, what a guy. For now, from Atlantic to Europe, Germany stands tall in the world. All Germany are fallen, which 17 years ago was still shackled by the terms unjustly imposed upon him by the decadent West. Today thrives in its rightful place on top of mankind. Liberation from injustice brought upon us a new path of glory. And with the guidance of our fjord and the spirit of the Aryan Volk, we have broken free from our former chains. Like a phoenix, a flame of rebirth swept the old order... Odera away. The flame that also lights the torch that heralded a new glorious era where all Germans may live free, unshackled, and unburdened by the rule of the Fuhrer. All thanks to the brave, courageous sons of the Fatherland, triumphantly won after fighting all Jewish puppets from California to Kathmandu. May Germany stand tall now, then, and forevermore, except uh, Alfred Ingmar Burns' speech in the Volkshalle. The hero's memorials, or the hero's memories, must live on. For now, the people shall celebrate. Really, to the heroes. Cool. A little more stability for a few days. That's cool. Let's see. You guys are here. British control of West Africa. Imperialists. Oh, and something else was here. Oops, my bad. Oh, can you not pay me what I asked you for? Yodel. Uh, okay, bye, Sweden. Portuguese Republic, here we go. Thank you. Because we want to make a lot of tanks. I'm talking like a boatload of tanks. Gulag Revolt, eh? Cool. So on the outskirts of Germania, while Karl Gebhardt was driving to make a formal report about the recent situations to Minister Martin Bormann, some unknown factors caused the death of Karl Gebhardt. His driver was dead by the time the police arrived, and Gebhardt's body showed signs of struggle between four death, with the cause of death being five shots into the stomach. All state ministries are now alerted to the ongoing possible conspiracy, and Speer is urging the fear to hold out within the bunker. What the heck is going on? The GSS GSSN has taken over. Cool. What can I do with this stuff? With my political power. Uh, I'm gonna go to early mobilization. I don't know. Death of Varia, and this stuff costs you more consumer goods, so it's probably not worth changing. Yeah, cap. Cripple investigation. After the many deaths with such all time, the criminal Polizei has stepped in and took charge of the investigations relating to these incidents. While progress is, is objectively slow, Chief Investigator and Director Arthur Neber promised that a clear conclusion would be made and justice would be brought upon the ones who had such evil attacks. Get on with it. Alex Commissarius Cortez. The Lux Commissariats have, for quite a while now, had relaxed industrial operations, which has provided both benefits and consequences. The workers' needed attitude has allowed for flexibility in production, but has hampered advancement in industrial technology. Despite areas such as Ostland, the Ukraine, and Gotland have adequate or above average levels of Germanization, farmers have largely inherited the same tools and methods that were used by the pre previous citizenry. The Economics Ministry has laid out proposals to finally introduce production quotas for both industrial and agricultural operations within the Lux Commissariats, hoping that these pl plans would both quickly up drive up productivity, attract more workers to adequately meet such goals and get their standards in both technology and methods up to par with that of the Reich proper. Already in the stages of being implemented, it'll only be a few weeks before we receive our first reports on such efforts. Hopefully they go well. An explosion in Danzig hours ago, a huge, huge explosion, shocked every citizen within the city. After a brief examination, it was clear that the explosion originated from the Gauleiter, Gauleiter office. The explosion killed 291 Reich's workers and bystanders alike, one of the deaths being Gaulite to Albert Forrester. The police were unable, unable to clearly link the attack to any group which possesses the means to coordinate such attacks. Find the plotters quick. Holy crap, 291 people were injured or killed. Holy crud, Arenos, that's a lot of guys. And an attempt on Frank. During a speech addressing the German nationals within Warsaw, a lone gunman bursted out from the crowd and fired three shots into the direction of Hans Frank. Fortunately, all three shots missed, and the guards present were able to overwhelm the gunman who was later found to be a Polish resistance fighter in his 20s. The Reich's police and sec security service denied any wrongdoing as they released a statement, strongly stating that everyone or everything we were searched in the meeting, location to prevent an assassination attempt, suppressed the news. Oh my goodness, what is going on in Germany? Treaty dealings in the Reich? Of course, of course. Hmm. I like that attack. Let's see. Sisha Heitzdienst takes over the investigation. Out of nowhere, the Sisha Heitzdienst, under the command of Ernst Kaltenbrunner, has been ordered to take, over, take control of the cases from the Kripo. During over evidence and clues found by the Kripo into SD custody, the Fiora was informed and aware of this decision, and gave Ernst Kaltenbrunner the permission to execute the takeover of the investigation. The Fiora is determined to find a reason to pin the attack. I want to believe. Now this is nice, 15% is nothing to scoff at, but that consumer goods, I, I think it's just best to save up for early mobilization. And reassurance, seeing... 
of the rising panic within the German population, the Fehrers made a public appearance in an attempt to ease the tension. Hitler stated clearly that these indi incidents are events caused by the evil acts of Judaism and Bolsheviks, reassuring the crowd that everything is well within the Reich's leadership. While the people of Germany might feel at ease, the ones within the party are still fearing, fearing that they could be the next target of some unknown agenda-motivated killing. Hmm. And finally, the U-Bahn expansion. So, under the watchful eyes of Speer, the Grand German U-Bahn has been completed sooner than expected, linking important regions within Germania and also a grand massive line extension to, in cities of Brandenburg, with some complicated and deep tunnels, designed to be air raid or even atomic shelters. The scale of Germania U-Bahn is comparable to an underground city, which proves that Germans have yet again shown the world how area and engineering are unmatched. Good work. I'm not going to touch this. I don't want to lose stability. Nope. Polish brought crushed. Great. And conspiracy crushed too. During an attempted Polish terrorist attack, the Oracle successfully intercepted and arrested several terrorists, stopping a disaster in the making. While they, this is a victory for stability in the Poland region, the war on terror and effect, an effort to crush all resistance for the Polish race is far from over. Good. After a brief but in-depth investigation done by the SD, they reached the conclusion that a sector of the Polish Home Army within Warsaw were the ones behind the coordinated attack, with a key clue being the majority of the attacks were conducted by the Poles. With the help of the Bafin SS Oracle. Uh, the Polish rebel stronghold within Warsaw was destroyed, leading to the execution of 59 Polish conspirators. The fear exclaimed that this is a glorious victory for, for the just, saying that the justice had been served onto the least of humans. And while the population of Alterpati are now at ease, Ernst Kaltenbrunner detailed a possible high-ranking figures, those figures, being co-conspirators, but halting the investigation as of this moment might be the safest. Something or someone is planning something. And as ah, his birthday. Ah, oh, Fjord Adolf Hitler. I has reached the blessed age of 63 this day. All across Germany, flags are unfurled and photos of Fjord are displayed, beginning the jubilation that every uh, that every facet of German society enjoys. Celebration and marching is honored, prepared a year in advance, as already be being held in Nuremberg. The sacred ground of national socialism is once again honored to have such an event performed on our soil. After the ceremony in Leutpoldarina, the best of the best soldiers from all service branches marched across the street of Nuremberg. Following the firm up atop a, a, a Volkswagen, the whole event ends with solemn ceremony back in the Leutpold Arena, a speech for the firm himself. Heil, yeah. Cool, Heil, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some decryption. Cool. And maybe we can focus on a boat. I want to get a boat, but we already have all the boats that we want. Except for this type of boat. I like this type of boat more. This boat is a nice boat. A Frauenschicksal. A Lenny Riefenstahl masterpiece. Frauen Schicksal was finally released today. The film, widely applauded by critics inside Germania, tells the story of two sisters, Helen and Angel. Helen grows up later to join the Hitler Junge while Angel works in a bank. Angel later unknowingly marries a Jewish man. When his husband's his husband's financial scheme collapsed, he became a drunkard, and Angel suffers from abuse that worsens every day. Okay, probably she became a drunkard. Or something. No, he became a trucker. Oh, this is this is weird. Culminating in Angel becoming blind and sold into prostitution. Eventually, Helen and Hitlerjunga got a hold of a sister's condition. She managed to have her brother-in-law arrested during Kristallnacht, just in time to help stop him stabbing Angel with a knife. The film ends with Angel undergoing recovery, but Angel but Helen reassures her sister that the future is bright for them. Screening across Germany are scheduled this evening. While well, in the East, the film will be released um June twentieth, and in the rest of Europe by July first. A German masterpiece. Well, if you say so, I'll take your word for it. Early mobilization. Now nah, it helped out just a little bit more. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. This will never be built. That's okay. That's why I thought we had to do it like this. There we go. Now we can actually build up our roads, which will be very, very good for us. Just build everything up. That's all we would like. And we lost political power, or stability, I should really say. Lost stability. It is what it is. Brabant. Cool. May Day, and once again, the holiday that empowers our workers. Uh, our power area workers have arrived. Leaders send the congratulations to all workers around Germany. Gathering is are held, and workers are using this special holiday to get the rest that they deserve. A rest to work even better for the greater good of the Aryan race. Cool. Look at all this territory we have. I love it. And quotas. So, 1952 EFC. After months of preparations and careful planning, the economic or the European Football League of Football Cup, my apologies, of 52 has started. The EFC was planned proposal in 50 by Joachim von. Ribbentrop and Rex Sportsführer von Hunt as means to unite the continent. Sports, particularly football, have always been a great political and nationalist tool for politicians and others as they perpetuate and celebrate the old we against them mentality and highlights the athletic superiority of our race. These arguments help von Ribbentrop in securing an annual fund from the government and its dependencies meant to organize one of the largest football cups of the European continent since the 20s. This year's EFC will be the first edition, thus exciting many while we ta ta tax? Talks of corruption have spread across the NSLEPE. 
itself. The positive energy radiating from the event is enough to silence those rumors for Spalt and Germany. In which we just got our quotas done, with which we are now expand the colonial market. The market of the Reich's colonial possessions is often, aside from Gotland, a vastly untapped region, practically brimming with opportunities for investment and economic growth. This lack of interest has largely been due to an air of anim an animosity from private conglomerates and, curiously enough, state-run industries citing concerns of long-term stability being the root cause. Nonsense! Scotland is the most booming economy of a colony we've ever had. Many proud Aryan families have had joyous Tourist vacations at resorts on the shores of the Black Sea, the oil reserves in the Caucasus are plentiful, the industrial plants in Muscovine begging to be subsidized by national conglomerates, and the arable farmland in the Ukraine ripe for more advanced methods of crop harvesting. It's stupid to hold back such momentous investment behind a pitiful veneer of security concerns. What have you got to fear? Partisans? Va, how long has it been since you saw those? Eh? We'll see. We'll see. You never know. We do have a good amount of, uh... uh enable XP, though. That's pretty good. Egyptian Revolution. Very cool. Very cool. No, we can really change this up too much. I mean, maybe with these destroyers, maybe. It is 63. I do want to convert these to light cruisers, because light cruisers... Yeah, I, I, light... Heavy cruisers just don't have a place. Or at least in my opinion, they, they're not... They're okay. They're not really that great. I mean, I don't mind using them from time to time. But they're just not... Great. Radar 1, that's still not bad. I don't mind radar 1. That's actually not bad. We have anti-air 2. That's fine as well. Hmm... Can we wait a little bit to make this? Nah, we're not gonna wait. We'll keep that on. We'll keep the torpedoes on too if we need to. Get some more anti-air. There you go. And is it is it only torpedo one? If it's only torpedo one, oh no, uh, torpedo three. Okay. You know what? We'll keep that then. So this is now a light cruiser. Beautiful. Not I and elected. Okay, cool, very cool. Health of the Fuhrer. So, during an early checkup, reports all that the Fuhrer's health is poor. Though the doctors claim that there is signs of the Fuhrer's recovering from the stroke back in '48. There were a few pages of the health reports missing, but whatever, you know, Mar Bor Borman, alongside the doctors, assured the fear that nothing is out of the norm. Uh, huh. Huh. Okay, sure. Why not? A few missing pages here and there, you know. That's okay, right? That, right? I just want to make sure we got enough tanks. And guns. I have not looked at this at all. IFPs, I'm sorry, I don't care about IFPs. I really don't like them that much. Oh, we got plenty of APCs, though. Wow, we need more guns and stuff like that, too. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more guns. We're going to need a lot more of this. Italy wins EFC. And we've got military construction one. And a lot of the stuff is done. Let's get some excavation one as well. Come over here and do some uh, MG Eins. That'd be nice. And then I'm going to leave this for the Civil War, so I'm not going to touch that at all. Drop tanks, we don't need to do that. Let's get some better carrier fighters. Very good, yeah. Yeah, it's not looking good at all. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to keep you actually on two for now. This way we need less resources, and we already have 3,200 of these, so that's pretty good. If that's the case, go ahead and train for now, guys. I should have done this a little earlier. Oh, you guys already trained. Whatever. Actually, do we get any army XP at all? We can, okay. This is not China. It's not the KMT, because they are very limited. Uh, I'm going to Model. Ah, expand the colonial markets on Yielding Defender. Yeah, why not? Cool. Project 2. The concluding phase of the ideal plan, Project 2 focuses on a double effort of building up national oil reserves to truly leave our economy wholly self-sufficient from relying on foreign oil markets, developing regional stockpiles across Germany in the event of war or potential occupation, and the reforming of the twisted and jumbled bureaucracy the right sees itself in, before finalizing the, with the establishment of a balanced industry for the nation, one that can both focus on consumer goods while also meeting the ever-changing needs of our armed forces, which is a good thing. Over here we have our infantry, Polish pro prot, plot, was crushed. Blaskovitz. During an attempt to Polish terrorist attack, the Arpo successfully intercepted and arrested several terrorists, stopping a disaster in the making. While this is a victory for stability in the Poland region, the war on terror and effort to crush all resistance from the Polish race is far from over. But it's it's skin there, and the conservatives have won there, huh? Okay, interesting. Blaskovitz? Infantry expert? I think so. Plus 15% defense, plus 15% attack. Very good. And then we have these SS tanks, which we're probably going to get rid of. Our SS defeated. Cool. Let's hope it ends the violence. Friedrich found to the official soft drink of Germany. During the Soviet, German Soviet War, Deutschland had problems finding supplies that announced to produce certain civilian items like soft drinks. Thus, through brilliant research, an all German soft drink was created just out of ingredients like whey and, and apple pomace. The name Fanta came from the brainstorming session where the research team were asked by the head of Coca Cola Deutschland to use their fantasy or imagination. When the researchers, Nip, Joe Nip, uh, immediately replied, Fanta. The drink was a major success and became part of the German identity team. After the war, it's become the most popular drink in Germany, and this has been declared a national soft drink of the German Reich. Fanta is better than cola. 
Well, I don't drink either. But you know what? Whatever the Fuhrer says goes. You don't want to piss him off, even if he's not feeling that well. With some of his, some of, uh, his health report pages missing. Hmm. Alright, we need a good tank general. Reinhardt? Cool, we'll go with Reinhardt. That's expert, thank you. Decryption side channel attack, very nice. Let's go and do some decryption as well. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah, at least we're improving ourselves somewhat. And these are APCs, which I forget which they are from. We've got Lothar. Oh, these guys are 21 combat width. Yeah, this is weird. PPS elected. Socialist Mexico. And a space project planned. Cool. A project that started from 49, Von Braun and his team of scientists taking a break from the military rocket program have successfully created a prototype manned suborbital spacecraft that will be the first of its kind in the world. The rocket is a simple and ballistic missile which has been modified to carry a life support system and a pilot instead of an explosive payload, and is planned to perform the simple suborbital hop upwards to an altitude of over 100 kilometers before falling back down and landing safely. While not all safety preparations are ready for the flight, the deadline and requirement for the government funding is to launch a manned test flight as soon as possible. Fun fearing funding cuts and personal safety, the launch must occur within the coming days. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Absolutely nothing could ever go wrong with that. Can I change these guys? Is that Gerbils? Not spare, not spare. Iraq and Jordan Unite, that's cool. Design flaws in the craft. Olbeth and several designers in the space project have raised their concerns on the overall designs of the spacecraft. The report stated that they were worried about the lack of reliable backup return and recovery capability on the spacecraft, which might result in fatal landings during return. However, due to political pressure from the government, the protests are swept aside and the space flight will be launched as planned. We cannot stop now. Oh boy, that does not sound good. Getting over here, it's 270, which is quite a bit as well. Woo! That's quite a ways away, and China denounces Vietnam. We'll see about that. Exile the Dutch government. Bye bye. Bye bye. Dissolution of the Sahara. One less monster state. Rush safety test attempting to complete the preparation for the deadline. The safety testing on the spacecraft had only lasted two days. Rushed without any double checking. The safety crew is ordered to not inform the Raumfahrer about the results of the safety check to maintain morale for the space flight. It's superior German engineering. It'll be fine. Mauritania. The French authority, huh? Okay. Is that orthodox? The Limbo Exiles. British Investments, launch day. Prime Minister, Prime Minister Geitskel. So the, the launch, or the day of launch, has finally arrived. Camera crews and engineering crews are ready to partake in the major chapter of the air and superiority. The spacecraft will be manned by Raumfahrer Heine Dittmar, an esteemed pilot of the Luftwaffe. Heine is in the dark when it comes to the laziness and danger factors to the plans leading to the launch. Dittmar is an un uninformed about what comes after reaching the 100 plus kilometer checkpoint, but he's seemingly excited and all in good morale. With them already in the cockpit, all that's left is, count on is to start ticking. You know what, I'm gonna cancel the launch because I really don't trust this too much. We need an architect to look at this. and We have not looked at it enough, and besides, if you fail, if you succeed, it's great, but if you fail, which is most likely gonna happen, you're gonna lose 200 political power instead of the 100 we have here, so just, you know what, we can do it again, it's fine. Besides, and if we fail, Dittmar will die, which is not cool, and you don't want that to happen. No, 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 no. And the uh, thing was crushed, and we've heard this like two or three times now, so goodbye. Uh, only make, let's see, you got wartime, good. Yes, yes. Make only one of those, and then, oop, wrong one. Grab this. You can do some anti tanks up for now, that'd be fine. But, grab some of this. Uh, oh, we already did. So let's grab this one then. Very nice. Very good. Project Spy. That should be pretty good for us. Bad victory in North Africa. And we're currently at 0.67 a day, which is not ideal. Uh, I don't want to train. Uh, you guys train as well. Infantry is cheap. We can train infantry. Training these guys probably would not be a good idea. So we get 0 0.03 a day, which is not great. But I do want to edit these tank divisions maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Let's see what happens, though. The long coughings. When the Fuhrer was getting ready to start... Oh, God dang it. Come on. The day for Germany, some, some noticed that his coughs that day are particularly worse than normal. This continued for hours until a doctor was summoned, although the doctor did not raise any concerns. Whispers say that the doctor is hiding traces of illness from the Fuhrer himself. The Fuhrer is fine. He's okay. Leave him alone. God, I hope he's okay. Oof. Brandenburg is building himself up. Oh, wait, did I do... I did do Germania. Okay, Germania's done. That's good. How many tanks do we need? 
guns wise we're out support equipment we're out i've done nothing for planes which i'll i'll, I'll, put, I'll deploy the planes off screen just because it takes too long to do this stuff uh point one for tanks huh maybe we can grab one more of this maybe thank you un vietnam resolution fails the war continues for all but for now it is what it is mg eins very good let's grab single receiver actions next very good Come over here. Spaz. Rising influence and he's trusted. He's trusted by the Fuhrer. Good. And we shall do next. Regional stockpiles. That's not bad. I like that one. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Let's go get regional stockpiles. So. In the event of a potential showdown with the Toronto Accord, of which is likely to be inevitable, or an outright occupation of our lands by their powers as unlikely as that could be seen, we have devised a plan that would meditate the sting of problems that could occur during such a thing. Dedicated stockpiles following the map outline of the... Veakreis, or military districts, will be set up near major militaries or cities or army barracks to refresh troops in the event of low supplies or faulty equipment. This would allow a stop and go attitude towards divisions of battalions, stopping to recuperate and take stock of what the unit is missing, take as needed, and immediately return to the battlefield. With few negative aspects, the proposal has been warmly received or welcomed by the party bureaucrats and military officers alike. The Frankfurt Project. Frankfurt was chosen to be an experimental German city to hold a grand project after the success of Wien. At Wien. However, with Frankfurt being relatively close to France, another layer of defensive structures are also constructed as a part of the major project. Frankfurt has become the model city of the western parts of Germany. Great works, Germans. Ooh, we get even a radar station. That's kind of cool. People's victory in Sweden. Ah, surprising. Interesting. And I want to get through maybe a few more focuses first. One more focus. Maybe one more focus. A few more events. And then we'll call it an episode. Now, normally, my very first episodes in most almost any campaign are usually about half an hour however i'm taking extra time reading through things and making sure that we do things somewhat okay this is why this video is going on to be like 45 minutes long i normally don't choose or make videos this long but it is what it is uh would you do, do, do uh, would you like to go home now two more destroyers that's fine throw them right there you know what combine these two guys up because they're so small uh would you like to go home as well we're probably waiting yeah to get all the stuff done too Excavation 1. Let's go ahead and grab uh, Encryption Polyalphabetic Ciphers. Cool. And we got some more of that stuff. Let's see. Drop tanks not yet. Let's go ahead and get some more Decryption Frequency Analysis. And then we'll grab some Encryption Pulse Code Modulation. Very nice. And what do we have here? Wartime Cast. Cool. Which I'll fix that up later on too. Like I said before, Cruiser's looking pretty good. Al Rauna. Off the Maria Rabinout's latest movie, Al al Rauna has finally been released. The movie featured a strange plot that most viewers enjoyed about a greedy Jewish scientist that built a beautiful Aryan woman. But the Jewish scientist has corrupted her beyond the point of no return, and she took her own life in the name of Germany instead of being in the hands of a greedy Jew. This sounds very weird to say. This movie also claims to be fully based on the fictional novel published in the early 1910s. Yeah, cool. Or some might say, based. Anyways, uh, original stockpiles, and let us finish with National Oil Reserve. Oil, oil, oil. That three-letter word has been both a blessing and a curse for our nation. Since the war's conclusion, we have operated almost independently from relying on foreign oil markets to meet such needs for it. But this remains a nagging issue. Due to various concerns from major conglomerates and state-run industries alike, the extraction of oil in areas such as the Caucasus has not been as efficient, nor as large as it should be. Couple that with a large but overall merely adequate amount of synthetic refineries dotted across Germany proper, this has contributed to us being almost free from the grip of foreign oil. A simple method to bring us from such woes is to allow further development of synthetic refineries while also reassuring those bureaucratic barons that their assets will be wholly safe from potential sabotage or outright destruction. Becoming self-sufficient in oil production can boast a great economic and propaganda value for the Reich, so we mustn't let such an opportunity slip any longer. Get 50 more oil. Wow, that's pretty good, but unfortunately that's all the time for that we have my, today, my friends. However, I do want to know your opinion. Let's say that, that there might be some sort of leadership issue within the Reich. Maybe by February or March of next year. Just saying hypothetically. And if we can choose Speer, we're going to go down that route. However, if we choose the Speer Goebbels block, I want your opinion. Should we unternehmt or Valkyrie and try to get rid of Himmler? Or should we try to please Himmler or appease Himmler and give him Burgundy? Let me know. What do you think? Should we appease him or just try to take him out? Because if we try to appease him, we can probably actually avoid the Civil War. But you never know. Regardless, I want to know what your thoughts are. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's first episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Like I said, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we shall have a great, great 1953 together. Thanks for watching and have a great rest 
of your day.